हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी ऑन माय चैनल इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्ट माय चैनल कैन बी वेरी हेल्पफुल यू कैन वॉच माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस थ्रू आई टैब एंड टूडे आई विल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हायर ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेश एंड इन हायर ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेश देर आर नॉर्मली थ्री मेथड्स सॉरी फोर मेथड्स वन इज सॉल्वेबल फॉर पी सॉल्वेबल फॉर एक्स सॉल्वेबल फॉर वाई एंड क्लोरेंट फॉर्म these four methods are very commonly asked in exams this is first order and higher degree and this is a type of non linear differential equation and in the non linear differential equation we cannot use the method which we had used earlier like here in the first order first degree if you haven't watched the first order first degree video you can check it out on itab you will find the link in description today i will explain solvable for p and in today's video i am going to explain you how do we solve first order and higher degree differential equations and i am going to explain the solvable for p method the dy by dx here it is denoted by p and dy by dx is written p like this if different equations are given in p as power so as it will be dy by dx then degree will be obviously higher the order is anyways dy by dx which means one right if any such differential equation is given where i have written the small p as dy by dx and these p 0 p 1 p and minus 1 what are these here these are the coefficient of it and they can be in the function of xy is it clear x square p square plus xy p minus 6y square or p square minus x power 5 is equal to 0 this is the example of higher degree and first order differential equation now if we talk about the actual equation it is dy by dx whole square minus x to the power 5 this is what is given here instead of dy by dx it is given p and i will explain how do we solve it the first method is solvable for p if we have any equation given first step to solve it is we'll factorize it what we'll do first of all we'll factorize it right and by factorizing it separately we will get these different brackets when we factorize it then we obtain this small p here then we separately put it equal to 0 so p is equal to f1 of xy p is equal to f2 of xy p is equal to fn of xy in this way we get different functions and then we will put dy by dx in place of p and integrate all of it then whatever answer we get here we will write it here whatever answer we have from them we will write it again and multiply we will get the answer i will give an example to help you understand the concept look we have this example given how will we solve this question here but the question arises how will you comprehend in the exam that this equation is solvable for p solvable for x or solvable for y whenever we have any differential equation given which is of higher degree and first order in that case we will check if it can be factored in terms of p or not like this equation you can see that this is a quadratic equation in p which means that we can factorize it in terms of p but how if you will notice we have a quadratic equation we know that the quadratic equation is ap square plus bp and plus c is equal to 0 now you can notice this is the equation where a is x square and the value of b here is minus 2xy and what is c it's 2y square minus x square now if we talk about it this is quadratic in p p is equal to we will get minus b so this will become plus it will be plus minus under root of b square that is this will be 4x square y square minus 4ac there is a negative sign here this is x square and this is c so we will directly multiply it this will be x square and this will be 2y square minus x square here and since it is 4ac so 4 will be there as well right upon 2a and the value of 2 and a is 2x square clear what we will get p is equal to here you can see we will get p as 2xy and plus minus here for x square is common so we will take common this will be 2x and under root y square minus 2 y square and plus it is x square and this whole term will be divided by 2x square right and you can notice 2x is being taken out common and it is getting cancelled right we will get x in denominator so it will be y plus minus divided by x here when we will cancel this term so we will get x square minus y square this is the value we will get now we will divide this separately we can write p as dy by dx and is equal to this will be y by x plus minus x will be in the under root and minus y square upon x square you can notice that we are obtaining a homogeneous differential equation so we can easily solve the equation by taking y is equal to vx what will we do <coughs> let y equals vx and then here we will get dy divided by dx it is equal to v plus x dv by dx we will substitute this value and now we will write v plus x here dv by dx 
now wherever it is y we will put vx there x will cancel out we will get v plus under root of 1 minus when we will keep vx here then x squares will be cancelled out so it will be v square you can notice that v is cancelled out by v it will be x dv by dx is equal to this plus minus square root of 1 minus v square students it will be dv upon square root of 1 minus v square this will be plus minus dx it will become dx divided by x right we will directly integrate it and plus log c here <coughs> the integration of this will be sine inverse of v is equal to plus minus log x and plus it will become log of c is it clear and students this will be sine inverse we will put y by x is equal to we will get c multiplied with this it will be plus or minus log x c there are two cases once we will take plus and then minus positive sine inverse of y divided by x and here it will be minus log of x c is equal to 0 on this side it will be sine inverse of y divided by x and when we take minus here it will become plus on the other side then this will be plus log x c equals 0 we got two solutions now we will multiply both of these terms let me clear this and then last step is whatever answer that comes from this equation the factors we will get multiply them like here we will multiply these two and now we will write sine inverse of y divided by x minus log x c multiplied by this term will be sine inverse into y divided by x and plus log x c is equal to 0 and this will be the answer of the question so in this way we solve these types of questions here i hope you have understood the next question is also quadratic in p we can either factorize this or we can use the same concept the quadratic one what we will get as p is equal to p is equal to minus b this will be minus 2y cot x plus minus p square p square will be under root of 4y square here cot square x and minus 4ac this minus and minus becomes plus it will be 4y square and what will be in the denominator it will be 2 right you can notice that we will get p is equal to minus 2y this will be cot x plus minus now we will take out 2y common here it will be 1 plus cot square and we know that 1 plus cot square x is cos x square x right we can see that this 2 will get cancelled with the 2 here and then we will get is equal to minus y into cot x here and then this value will be plus and minus y into cos x right this will be the value we will get is it clear what we will do here we will write dy by dx here first we will write it with plus and then with minus clear so once we will write plus and once minus with minus we will get dy by dx is equal to this is minus y cot x plus it will be y cosec x and we will do the same here it is dy by dx is equal to minus y into cot x and here it will become minus y cosec x right what we will do we will take y common here dy by dx is equal to we will take out y common and this will be minus of sin by i am sorry it will be cos x by sin x here is it clear we will get 1 by sin x take the lcm of sin x and then reverse it it will be dy by y and dx will move on the other side so dy upon y is equal to it will go to other side we will get dx and this will be equal to 1 minus cos x divided by sin x then we will get into dx here similarly when you will simplify this we will get dy upon y here since we can take minus common on taking minus common we will get 1 plus cos x divided by sin x into it will be dx we will get these two values now integrate this integrate it and here you can take c1 and in place of this you can take c2 first i will solve this here what will be the integration of this pay attention we will get its integration as log y here now we will take this 1 minus cos x we can write this as 2 sin square x by 2 divided by it will be 2 sin x by 2 here cos x divided by 2 and it will be into dx and plus c1 now this 2 sin x by 2 gets cancelled and we get tan x by 2 here this will give us log y is equal to the integration of tan x by 2 and into dx i will take this log then all terms will become log so log c1 we will get log y equals to the integration of tan which is log sec x divided by 2 we will get the value log sec x by 2 and x by 2 will be 1 by 2 then 1 by 2 will go above here it will be is equal to plus log c1 and this 2 will go above so this will become y is equal to sec square x upon 2 into c1 right we get this as the value 
if we look at this value and try to simplify it then we will get y and here we will get cos square x upon 2 is equal to 0 hence we will get this one factor here is it clear similarly when we solve the second one i will use a different color so that you can understand better i am solving this one if we solve this expression then this will become dy upon y is equal and this becomes minus and here it will be 2 into cos square x by 2 right the integration is 2 cos square x by 2 and this will be 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 into dx plus take this as log c2 here is it clear cos x by 2 will get cancelled so we get got x by 2 right this will be log y is equal to minus this will be cot x by 2 into dx here plus it will be log c2 when we solve this it will become log y and this will become minus log sin x divided by 2 and from here this 2 will go above right and then here we will have log c2 is it clear I don't have enough space here so I'll erase it a little bit from that side to explain it further now when we will simplify it then students please pay attention here we will get log y is equal to this 2 will go above it will become 1 divided by it will be cos x square here right and now I think this value here it will become log cos x square x by 2 multiplied by c2 log will get cancelled this will go below and this will be y sin square x by 2 minus c2 is equal to 0 this is our second relation which we will get multiply both of them and write it this means this term and this term so the answer will be y cos square x by 2 minus c1 into multiplied by here it will be y sin square x by 2 minus c2 so this is the answer which we will get here and in this way we solve this type of question and now let's see the next question if it is given like dy by dx minus dx by dy is equal to x by y minus y by x what will we do in this question we solve it and we will get dy by dx minus 1 upon dy by dx dx by dy is reversed and this will be x by minus y y by x if you will notice you will know that this value x by y is p so it will be p minus 1 upon p here and you can take the lcm of this we will get x y and this will be x square minus y square right when we will cross multiply this we will get p square minus 1 is equal to here this will be x square minus y square and then this p will get multiplied there and i think x y will come here right we have cross multiplied it how we will solve this we will multiply this it will be x y p square minus it will be x square minus y square into p minus x square into y is equal to 0 and now we can factorize this equation so we will get x y p square minus this will be x square p and plus here it will be y square p minus it will be x y is equal to 0 we can see that x p is coming common from here and we are left with y p and minus x and then we can notice here we have y common so here it will be y p minus x which will be equal to 0 right now students we can see that here we will get y p minus x and x p plus y equal to 0 is it clear we will separate these two terms here then we will get y p minus x is equal to 0 and then we will put the other one as 0 here so we will get x p plus y is equal to 0 we will get the value of p this x will go to that side and will be divided by y we can write p as dy by dx is equal to x by y now you can notice that we will get y dy is equal to x dx when we integrate it y square by 2 and x square by 2 will be c so 2 will go to c and we will get y square minus x square equals c1 we will get this relation in the same way when we will take this then it will be x and here dy by dx right and then plus y equals 0 now we will try to simplify it then we will get dy upon y here and it will be plus and we will get dx upon x is equal to 0 when we will integrate this we get constant c2 this will be the integration we will get log y plus this will be log x is equal to we will take log c2 here right therefore we will get log of x y is equal to log of c2 here you can notice this x y is equal to c2 it means that x y minus c2 is equal to 0 and this will be y square minus x square minus c1 is equal to 0 multiply both of the terms the answer will be y square minus x square minus c1 multiplied by x y minus c2 equals to 0 now this value will be the answer in this way we will solve this question now you have to give the answer of this question in the comment box you have to apply this same method and how much time did you take to solve and which option is correct please tell me in the comment box students you can watch the videos 
of differential equation and also my complete playlist of the new videos that I uploaded from here and the complete playlist on my older differential equation videos from here and you can check out my new channel where I am uploading many short tricks for preparation of CSIR, NET, GATE and IIT JAM. You can check it out from this link. You can follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share and do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to answer this question in the comment box. Thank you.